What is going on everybody, Weedle Tweedle here, and we are back again with another Sun and Moon Wi-Fi battle, and this one's going to be against Justin, a person I battle off my Discord server, so if you guys are interested in a Sun and Moon battle and trade community chat or in a place to hang out and chat, definitely check out my Discord, a link will be in the description. Now me and Justin are having a rarely used battle today, as his team is looking pretty damn threatening if you ask me. He has Yun Mega, Registeel, Como O, Donphan, Reuniclus, and Rotom Heat. A very standard looking rarely used team if you ask me, as I'm using a pretty uh, spicy looking team. I'm using um, Protean Cacleon and Ursaring, a pretty cool offensive core. I'm using Chestnut and Seismitoad to make a pretty nice defense core alongside of Ramatiz, and I'm actually using an analytic offensive Porygon too. It still has Evio like, because I want to see how bulky it is without investment. But uh, yeah, I wound up on Life Orb on the Porygon too, but I'm like, that's too manly, man. I gotta stick with the Evie Light. But uh, yeah, we're gonna get into this battle because it's a pretty fun battle. And uh, yeah, so gonna lead off with my Kecleon as my opponent is going to lead off with the Mi Boosta, the Yan Mega. So um, I figured that with the name Mi Boosta, it was probably a speed boost set, but I really couldn't be too sure. So turn one, I just flick Fake out as my opponent does reveal Protect. Just to get that speed boost, though, I highly doubt he needed that against Kakleon, but I'm sure he just wanted to scout me out anyway. As now, I'm going to go for Sucker Punch. Very risky move, because he could just go for Bug Buzz and absolutely demolish my poor Kakleon soul. But um, thankfully, the um, Yan Mega just goes for Air Slash, and Kakleon does face take this, thanks to its nice Bidef stat, and due to its max HP investment. So, this Yan Mega is not in a good position staying in. But I don't want to risk him like just going for Bug Buzz again or whatever, or Air Slash, so I just decided to click Sucker Punch once again. I didn't want to risk him going for the offensive move as he does bring in Registeel. Now here I figured he'd actually go for the uh, South Rocks or a status move, so I'm going to click Focus Punch. Unprotected Focus Punch as the Registeel makes the mistake of clicking Stealth Rock and Focus Punch. going to get the Protean and I'm just going to Focus Punch him right in the face. Boom, easy smash, no problem. Good night, Registeel. I that felt pretty damn good actually. Um unprotecting unprotected focus punch is like the best feeling ever, <laughs> like no lie. Anyway, in comes Como O. And I wanted to save my Kecleon for later in case I need the priority for said Como O. So gonna bring in my chestnut here. And I'm hoping you know Chestnut has very high defenses. I should be able to tank this thing relatively well. As he does really be a dragon dance, that's so I'm like great. Como O can't really touch Chestnut thanks to its like ridiculous defense stat. And I can just drain punch him or leech seed and go from there. Not too big of a deal. I don't really need to scout this thing's move set because he can't touch me. But um, here is where I completely eat my words because he actually ends up being a poison Z move Como O, which honestly isn't like too unorthodox because you would think it needs that being a dragon fighting type. Brings in all the fairy types. So acid downpour, I'm like, alright, wanna know what? It's probably just poison jab. It's not that powerful. It's only a plus one attack. Chestnut, you should be able to tank this. I believe in your ability, but chestnut just dropped to the freaking acid downpour. So unfortunately, my chestnut cannot tank it, but not too big of a deal. He got the kill. But now I've been bringing in Aromatisse, because I know Aromatisse can tank a poison jab. Now that the acid downpour is out of the way, and I know he's not life orb, so I know it's going to severely weakened my aromatis so this coma oh such a big threat to my team at this point i was really hoping chestnut could deal with it but that definitely backfired on me so my backup plan is to bring in aromatis phase tank poison jab and then just knock this thing out with the moon blast so this coma oh actually turned out to be a pretty big threat not too surprising though coma oh has found a nice spot in this ru tier for sure as aromatis going to take some poison damage and uh I'm like, alright, Aromatis is pretty much fodder, but my opponent decides to bring a Reunion Clus, which kind of works against him in a way, because um, it's going to allow me to use my Z move, which I did use a couple battles ago, this exact Aromatis set, so it's not too out of the ordinary, it's a Z Aromatherapy with Aromatis, kind of like a namesake kind of thing, so I'm going to use Z Aromatherapy, and I'm just going to dance around and cure my status and get all of my health back, so at least this Aromatis can start tanking stuff again, but the Reunion Clus sets up a Calm Mind, and I'm like, oh no... Oh no, please save me. So, um, I don't know if he's offensive Reuniclus or if he's like a, the bold max defense, max HP set, but I'm going to decide to bring in six foot Kush, my Seismitoad, just because, um, I needed to <laughs> knock off this thing's leftovers or life orb or whatever item he has. Um, he does reveal Psy Shock and it doesn't do that much damage to Seismitoad, so it leads me to believe that he is a physically defensive Reuniclus, which isn't, you know, that is probably like its best calm mindset by far because it's immune to toxic and like statuses and stuff so it's pretty good 
I'm gonna knock off the leftovers here as my opponent is just going to go for another combine, realizing that Seismic Hood really can't touch this poor, this Reuniclus. So, um, unfortunately, I'm in a pretty bad position right now because Reuniclus with two combines under its belt is a pretty threatening Pokemon, definitely. And I need to work around this thing or else this thing's going to demolish my team. So, I'm gonna decide to let my Stealth Rocks here because even though I'm faced with like the biggest threat on his team, I just need to get up my Tryhard Stealth Rocks for the Young Mega, just so it has a guaranteed, it's just guaranteed to die. So, Seismic Zone actually ends up living the secondary Psy Shock, and um, I should be able to just keep knocking off and just chip down this Arena Clust to the point where either my Cacleon or Ursaring can knock him out. But yeah, I'm gonna go for a knockout, or knock off, and I'm um, not do anything as Arena Clust is gonna go for the recover, and just pretty much nullify all the damage I've accumulated on it, which is pretty frustrating, but all I'm trying to do is get as much chip damage as possible to force the arena class into recovering because that's my way of working around that so I'm going to just keep knocking off hope I can get a nice critical hit or something but unfortunately no dice as the arena class is just going to knock me out with the Psy Shock finally as down goes my six foot Kush my Leo and uh, yeah down goes Seismic Toad unfortunately I got my cut out my rocks though and knocked off the item so it pretty much did its job here I bring in Kakaleon just because I need to weaken this thing a little bit more because I realized that this thing's going to take absolutely nothing from Earth Rings attack. So, gonna fake out. It does do absolutely nothing, but I revealed Sucker Punch already. So, I, it makes me think that my opponent's gonna want to go for a recovery here. So, I decided to double switch into my Earth Ring, expecting to recover. Very risky because she could have, or he could have just got Psy Shock, but he ends up clicking recover. So, I'm like, yes! And uh, I'm able to bring an Earth Ring for free here and get the uh, Flame Orb because now Flame Orb is better. Unless you're running Quick Feet, then I guess Poison Orb is better because I think. Flame up still lowers your attack when you're in quick feet, but Facade is unable to knock out of the Reuniclus. Even though I'm adamant max attack, just Reuniclus phase tanks things with max defense, man. As Earth Spring does go down, but it chunked it down enough to the point where I could just bring Cataleon and knock him out with the Shadow Sneak. So this Reuniclus actually demolished me, but at the very least, we were able to finally deal with this threat. So I guess getting the uh, Z Aromatherapy off wasn't really worth it in the end, but um, we're able to beat the Reuniclus, and we still have full health Aromatis. Which is very handy against my opponent's last few mods. So, I'm gonna bring my Dog.exe, my Porygon 2, as now in comes the Dawn Fan. Now, um, this Dawn Fan obviously doesn't carry Stealth Rocks because the Register still had it, so it led me to, led me to believe that he had, um, a Sawfest. But, I'm gonna scout here, go straight for the Ice Beam. I am offensive Porygon 2, so that damage was very disappointing. And, uh, yeah, I find out that he is an Assault Bust. Dawn Fan, he rapid spins away my rocks, which is really annoying because now Yon Mega can come in at full health. Or, I mean, no, not die from rocks, rather. As Ice Beam, we're gonna get a nice skillful critical hit there. Probably mattered. He's probably gonna knock him off or something, but unfortunate. Can't do much about that. As now in comes Rotom Heat. Um, him rapid spinning away from the, the Stealth Rocks is probably all he wanted to do with Don Fan anyway, as he's actually able to trick away my Eevee Light. He thinks I'm a bulky Porygon too, but I'm actually offensive, so this doesn't really phase me all that much, as my Analytic Tri Attack is going to easily 2 a KO this Rotom Heat, which probably caught him off guard, definitely, because Porygon 2 doesn't normally output this much damage, unless it's on like Trick Room or something, but uh, yeah, we're able to knock out Rotom Heat, as my opponent's last mon is the Yon Mega, and I don't think Yon Mega could one-shot um, Porygon 2 even without the Eevee Light, so... He's just going to go for Air Slash. Porygon 2 should face tank this relatively well as we're able to, even without the Eevee Light, not get flinched as Tri-Attack should be able to knock out Yon Mega with the Analytic Boost and thankfully we're able to knock out Yon Mega and turn around the game with the uh, Analytic Porygon 2 which is pretty cool. I got to showcase that a little bit. But that's going to be the battle guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, I really would appreciate if you hit the like button as it helps the channel grow tremendously and it really means the world to me. So be sure to like the video if you want to help support the channel. And the question of the day is going to be, which Pokemon do you believe deserves to be banned from the rarely used meta game in general? Now, this can come from personal experience or just like, you know, your personal opinion. Like, why not? Now, I think that uh, maybe just a hunch that Reuniclus should be a suspect tested. I mean, I understand there's like powerhouses like Pangoro and Heracross to deal with it. But that could be said about a lot of bulky psychic types in RU, which is probably why they're still in the game, honestly, in the meta game. Like Heracross and Pangor are outright like really strong. But considering there's like Necrozma, Cresselia, Reuniclus, and shit like that in RU, we need these behemoths to deal with these ridiculous psychic types. But that's gonna be the battle, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll check you guys in my next video. Alright, peace.